a lot of people mistake Brighton and Hove City as only being famous for two things, the pavilion and gay people. And that's not right, because we have actually got an abundance of lesbians too. We've also got an abundance of history. So why don't you join me today on this walking tour and let's go find some. Today I thought I'd take you on a walking tour of my territory, my home turf, and get to show you some of the backward history of this obscure little city. Brighton Pier, or Brighton Palace Pier, as it's now known, was constructed in 1899. The reason why? Tourist attraction, and because the West Pier was getting a bit run down and not very popular. They've got fairground rides, they've got donuts, They've got more fairground rides, but I think their most popular attraction is probably the public toilet, which again isn't open and usually is a shithole. <laughs> this massive anus of a statue is called the donut. It's here to remind all vegans that there are other options available, like flour that's been deep fried. Brighton was originally called Brighthelmstone. It was an old Anglo-Saxon name that was given to the little commune that was going on here at the time. The name appeared in the Doomsday Book around the 10 hundreds. I like to call it 10 hundreds because I don't know what else to call it. Germans came over around the 16 hundreds and changed the name. They shortened it to Brighton. I like to think that it's because everyone was inbred and a bit slow and they had trouble speaking and so they just shortened things to make them easier to say. Because why would German people make anything easier to say? Their language is a minefield. Fun facts about Brighton Pavilion. It was used as a hospital for Indian soldiers during World War I and during World War II, Hitler apparently told people not to bomb it because he quite fancied it, you know, as a holiday home when he took over. Look how that plan went out for him. During peak tourist times, Brighton Pavilion is actually quite expensive to get into, so I wouldn't bother. Like, if you're going to go anywhere, like, just go next door, you know, because they've got a shop. You can just, like, get a postcard and then say that you went there. I bet you didn't know that Brighton and Hove is actually a green city. The way we've done this is by placing our job centre right by the police station and right by the law courts. That way the clientele can really reduce their carbon footprint by only ever being a stone's throw away from all three. In keeping with a lot of the green initiatives that happened in Brighton to make sure we were reducing our carbon footprint, that actually made it more difficult for drivers in this part of the city by making a shitload of green space. It's lovely to walk on, the drivers hate it, so win-win. This cinema behind me is the oldest cinema in the UK. It's currently closed, not due to COVID, but because it might have links because of the name to the friends of Jeffrey Epstein. This wide up behind me has 27 arches, 10 million bricks. It's owned by the train line, which means it's constantly being railed and it's in constant use today. Unlike your dad. It's great, there's so much to see. Like, obviously there's the pavilion, there's the beach, there's so many churches and oh, great architecture, you know. There's also a pet cemetery. This is Preston Manor. There's a room here called the Anne of Cleves Hall. It's believed that it was named after Anne of Cleves, who once resided here. You know Anne of Cleves. She was one of Henry VIII's wives. You know, the one who didn't get decapitated. Anyway, she ended up moving just up the road to a convent in Falmer, presumably because she didn't know how to give head. <laughs> Haven't seen any dead animals, which is a plus. Can't really see much remnants of the pet cemetery, but apparently it's here. Wait in a minute. Oh, darling punch. Hey, Luke Skywalker, I found where the Emperor is buried. Imagine that, it's your pet name. Jeez. This place has creeped me out just a little bit much, so I think, you know what? End of the journey. It's starting to rain, I need to go home. Don't forget, carry on watching Cab Lab right now, because it's been a whole five minutes and you haven't seen boobies. You poor things. Enjoy the rest of the show.
I'm out.